Okay, one of the first things you should do before you troubleshoot a program from compatibility is go on the internet to your browser, type in the name of the program and specs, and find out the specs. And we'll see here that it was written for Windows XP and Vista. And the data was done and all that, but very important when you go to uh, do your troubleshooting. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and uh, open up the troubleshooter the 2018 way. Okay, in today's environment, what you do instead of finding the EXE is just click on the uh, settings here. And instead of uh, searching around in here for uh, troubleshooting, you just go up to the top up here and click on that and say TRO, there's troubleshoot. Let's click on that. And we go directly to the troubleshooting page. Now there's all sorts of things you can do uh, troubleshooting nowadays through this uh, interface. But we're gonna scroll down here and you're going to find Program Compatibility Troubleshooter. We're going to click on it. And it says there that you can find and fix problems. We're going to click on Run the Troubleshooter. Now this troubleshooting interface is the same one it had in previous versions of Windows. It may take it a few seconds to uh, get this list together of everything you have installed. And it may not list all the um, programs or games that you have installed. Uh, you go down this list and you scroll down here See if you can find uh, the program you're looking for. It's in alphabetical order, and if you can't find it, scroll back up to the top and say not listed and say next. So if you look here, you, you're going to have to know where you store your games. For example, uh, they may be, if you want the default location, it could be in your C drive. I have installed all mines on my three terabyte you know, under the directory called games. And you'll see they have separate ones here, Combat Flight Simulator from years ago, uh, different things like that. Uh, but you may also find a directory of the manufacturer. And you might have to look in there to find the game that's installed there. In particular case, you uh, in Steam, Steam stores all of them under the Steam directory. And down here under Steam Apps, and then the common directory, and you'll see every one of your games there. Now I'm going to go look here for Fallout 3, and let's see, uh, there it is, Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. And you'll see that it only shows executables, and not that one, but here it says Fallout3.exe. Highlight that, and click on that. So we click on Next. Now. Windows will go up there and say oh, a couple different things. We'll say try recommended settings and troubleshoot program. So since we already looked it up, we can go up here to try recommended settings. And it's, it's already decided the same one we saw, Windows Vista and Service Pack 2. So if we click on test the program, uh, then uh, we'll see what happens. And sure enough, it brings up the interface to do that. And we go ahead and play it. And it runs and loads, and everything seems to be working just fine. Now, while this is loading up, let me explain that uh, I ran through the entire game, well, not the entire game, but I had it loaded, tested, uh, did uh, all the stuff, worked on it, uh, just to see if it, it, everything worked correctly. So once you exit, Windows bring up this, and it'll say, did it work? So it'll say, yes or no, we'll try different settings. I click on, yes, it did, come here, and it says, oh, look, incompatible program fixed. So I'm done with this one. But let's say it didn't work and you needed to run it again. So you go back here and you choose the second option, troubleshoot. And there's a bunch of options here. Work with an earlier version. It opens this and display correctly. Anyways, you go through this part of the troubleshooter and then do the same procedure and say, select one or more of these, then say next, and let it try and fix it for you. For example, if I selected it on another version, I can go in here and select. In this case, it would have been Windows Vista Service Pack 2. You just go through this until you get your program to work. So there you have it, uh, the program compatibility troubleshooter that's now in the settings app, uh, where you can fix those programs that are giving you a big headache. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.